Hi, my name is Jacob Robeck, and I'm the director of The Walters Project. We've finished the bulk of our shooting, and we've cut a teaser for the film that we've now entitled Loving Linda. I have never seen love lived out so beautifully than between the two of them. It was a lesson to us all about what it means to say till death do us part. You know, it was a lesson to every one of us. Linda grew up as the homecoming queen and everybody's sweetheart. You could see it in Jim's eyes. He adored her. They were madly in love like teenagers. It was a fun time for them and just the kind of marriage everybody would love to have had. Knowing Jim and Linda, when they made their vows, they didn't make them glibly, but they had no idea what was to come. She said something on the eyes. I can't see, I can't see. And she's not able to write properly, and, and now she can't run, now she can't walk. I remember the day that Jim accepted that she had multiple sclerosis. She's this 4.0 student, to play the organ, piano, sing. She can't do any of those things. I'm not ready for this. We're not ready for this. He was resentful of the disease, and that trickled over to be resentful of her. You know, he questioned for a while, can I do this? Do I want to do this? You know, this is, this is going to be hard. We had a king-size bed in those days, and I uh, slept over on this side. And I remember she reached over and I pulled myself away. I stayed there all night long. I just faced myself. Walters, you're a selfish person. The opposite of love is not hate, it is selfishness. We all began to marvel at Jim's strength. Jim wasn't quitting. Tremendous example to other people. I remember when Jim had to start helping her get in the car. He always took Miss Linda everywhere. Jim sacrificed so much. Jim had to go into the women's restroom to help her. He did her. everything. For what him. makes this man tick? This is amazing. He saw Linda as that pretty, blushing bride until the day she died. I, I really don't think that I would have ever understood love quite the way I do now if it hadn't been for having a front row seat in the life of Jim and Linda. And loves me the most, the love of my life, Linda. Genuine. Nobody has to see that I brush Linda's teeth and that I brush her hair. Jim would put makeup on. And sometimes it wasn't always perfect, but the care it took to make her beautiful. You would think that she had nothing to give. But there was this smile, there was this inner glow that even with her disability, she would radiate. In order to do that, you have to have a spirit that can conquer the world. I think that's why Jim calls her his hero. He told me the last thing he said to her he just leaned over and whispered in her ear, no one ever could have loved me as well as you did. On behalf of my crew and the team here at Robic Media, we want to thank everybody who backed us during production. Now we're looking to raise funds for the post-production part of the process, which is the editing, the color correction, music, sound, all the things that make a movie great. Please consider making a contribution to this film. Help us get this amazing true love story onto the big screen. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you for your support. And we'll see you at the movies.